uploading a folder of content to course files in Blackboard 9.1. I'm going to show you how you can upload a folder of content into Blackboard and display it in your course. If we uh, first go off and review our folder, this is a folder out on Windows here. You can have this on a Mac as well. And inside of it will contain the files that you want to upload. This is a lesson I've actually created with HTML using Dreamweaver. So I have my files here. They're all linked together with an image. Um, you could also have just files if you want to just upload a folder to Blackboard. Okay, so the first thing I got to do is I got to turn this into a zip file. So I'm going to right click on it send to and then compress zip file. On a PC this will create a zip file for you um, and you'll be ready to go. You can use another utility to create a zip file on, on the Mac as well. You can create a zip file with the utility that you have. The main thing is that this folder here is contained within the zip file. Okay now let's look at Blackboard. When we're in Blackboard we're going to go um, into our course, look down near the left hand bottom and then click on files. You're going to click on the very first option in the list. You're probably going to see eight numbers here which represent your course ID number. Mine is an example here so I'm going to click on it here but it's always going to be the first one in the list. Okay when I'm on this particular page I'm going to hover above the upload uh, button here and then I'm just going to select upload package. Then I'm going to click on browse and I'm going to look for that zip file on my desktop. If I've already had that lesson in there and I check this box, it will overwrite the existing um, one that's in there. Otherwise, if I don't check that, it's brand new, I can go straight and upload this. Blackboard won't overwrite anything unless you check this box. So I'm going to click Submit. Blackboard uploads the uh, zip file and unpackages it for you. So as you can see here now I have the lesson one folder and inside of there I have the items within it. Remember we had images and next.html lesson info etc. Okay now that I've got that folder of content in my course I can now use it within my content area. Since this is a package of a lesson that I created with Dreamweaver, I'll show you under content area, which is where you're going to go next, hover above build content, and then select file. Now you're going to select browse course. It'll come up on this page. Go into the appropriate folder and then select the first page of the file. Since this is again a Dreamweaver, I created a web folder, this is the first page of this lesson, so I'm going to create, take the first page. If you um, if you uploaded a, like say a bunch of documents in here, you could just select the one document and then click submit. But I'm going to go ahead and click that for right now, that's the first page of it. And um, you want to go ahead and leave the default here, if especially in this case, because I want students to be able to uh, read any of the files and folders in uh, that directory that I uploaded. And here where it says give it a name, um, index on HTML is not exactly very descriptive for a student, so I'm going to say click here to start uh, presentation for lesson one. Okay, you can change the name. You can opt to open it in a new window or not. That's yes or no. Um, if you scroll down here on the page, you click on submit. And now when you click on you get this special new icon, you click on this link, it'll start the information in that file. So um, it'll display in the folder here. Now that was an example of it displaying within Blackboard. You can also edit this here and just come down and say open in a new window. And then if I do that and I click on the link, it opens it to a separate window and students can um, review it. So that's how I get the upload um, of information in there as well. Now if you want to just go to an individual uh, in a file in there you could as well just select the file. Now if this is this particular one allows this um, area right here the he header to be clicked on and it's the one that I personally would mostly use however if you want to do it a different way you can hover above build content and select item. Now in here an item I could call this lesson one as well and then I could have more info about lesson one here because I have this text box so I could obviously type some information about it. I can browse my course again 
go into that folder, find the file. This obviously starts everything in here. So I'm going to click on Submit. And again, I can say uh, Lesson 1 here, Start. Uh, this now, if you do it this way, you can't open, uh, you can't select whether or not it's opening to a new window or not. But I'll show you what happens here. You click Submit. And now you have it this option, and if you click on that, it will also open to a new window and play the file. So it really depends on which way uh, you prefer uh, this way or this way. They both will work to um, display your content.